www.pondscape.us Let's see if I can see if it'll <clears throat> film here. Now... Crap. I am not getting the view that I would prefer here. <clears throat> oh well. I can still make the point. Anyway, I was going to say is that the more trees that we have that keep getting bigger in Chicago and the greener and bigger and you know Chicago gets with the trees and all that basically what I've observed happening as you can see by this tree um, notice how that a lot of the man-made light is bouncing off of the bottom portion of the tree and reflecting back down whereas the top of the tree is a lot more dark than the bottom of the tree well what this is doing is blocking out a lot of the light pollution that would um, normally keep the stars from coming through and what I was trying to point up into the sky but apparently this camera is not really able to um, to get any any shot of it is that as Chicago keeps getting greener and greener I'm able to see more and more and more stars in the sky on a clear night it just keeps getting more and more although speaking of light pollution see it's like almost 11 p.m. but see how you can see those clouds in the sky well, that's the light pollution from the city hitting the clouds, bouncing back down, making it so that the sky is always blue, a really, really dark blue, but still blue nonetheless. And um, you can still see the clouds and all that good crap. Well, that's just all the light coming from the city. But um, as I said, I've noticed that... Um, the greener Chicago gets, the more trees we get, the bigger the trees get, that those trees keep reflecting more and more and more of that light pollution back down the ground. Which means the less light pollution the sky is getting, the more stars we can see. And I've noticed that more and more stars are visible in the night sky as this process keeps taking place. Trees are my friend www.pondscape.us